So I want to talk about building a routine as a mom and a business owner. The first thing I want to say before I even get into setting a routine and how I did it is that the truth for me is I did not set a, a routine for myself and I didn't even start thinking about setting a routine until much later, like much after postpartum. Like when I was going through my postpartum experience for both kids, it just was not the time. And I feel like with King, my first, it was even harder. Like I never set a routine after having King. Um, it took me having Empire and like a few months after having him before I even felt ready to start setting a routine. So for me, and this might not be the experience for everyone, but for me, postpartum was just not the time to try to set a routine. Like um, in no way, shape or form could I set a routine for myself. And so I just want to like just say for you, if you're going through postpartum, like if you are, you know, maybe... I would even say as far as like if you're still in your first year after having a baby that may not be the time to try to set a routine for yourself if if possible right like for some of us we have to go to jobs we have to do different things and so in that case then yes we would have to set con some kind of routine or some time, kind of structure but if you are in a position where you can go you know three or six months at least without having to set a hard routine i would do that because i'm sorry for me a routine like i was i was in such a fog that i could not like a routine which is not going to work for me. Another thing for me is that I had kids back to back. I literally had, you know, like one year ish between having my children. And so because of that, I just I was just having whiplash from life. There was no way for me to really actually set a routine because by the time I felt like I was in a better place, I was sick again. Like I had morning sickness and all the things. So for me, it was just not in the car to set a, um, any kind of routine, whether it was a morning routine, night routine. It just it wasn't for me. The best thing I could do was wake up and watch my baby like <laughs> that was about it and that's enough right we have to we have to like not feel like we always have to be so productive like it's enough to just wake up and take care of your responsibilities and that's it period so i'm saying all this to say if you feel like you're just not in the headspace yet like emotionally or mentally to start setting a routine don't worry about it right now like i still want you to watch this because i have something for you if that's the headspace that you're in but if you are just not like feeling if you're not excited or just in the mood to like create any kind of routine don't force it because you're probably not going to do it and it's probably going to be something that actually overwhelms you instead of actually you know encouraging you or creating any kind of structure for you so something that i've realized is even when i was in that postpartum phase in that postpartum mode I still had a routine I just wasn't being a observer of my life to see what it was I wasn't being a patient observer of what was actually happening in my life to be able to see day to day that I was consistently doing certain things at a certain time or in a certain order or you know see what kind of habits I was doing over and over again because during that season again I was in a fog and I feel like I feel like that's a great way to describe it for a lot of us moms it's like after we have our baby we're kind of in a fog like I, it's so funny when I had King I just was like so in it and when I had Empire it, some stuff actually surprised me because I was like wow I forgot that this is how I felt or this is what I experienced because that period you really are kind of in a fog right your hormones are trying to regulate you're trying to you know figure out who you are again you have to take care of yourself and a tiny human there's a lot of things that are going on and so because of that, I wasn't able to really observe what I was doing, right? What, how I was showing up. But I did have a routine. It just might not have looked like somebody else's. And that's okay. So the first thing with building a routine, especially as a mom, is to know what type of person are you? Are you a morning person? Are you a, you know, midday, afternoon person? Or are you a night owl? This will help you just figure out like a general structure for your days and help you realize when you should do like your most important tasks. So for me, I know that I am a night owl through and through and praise the Lord, my kids are night owls as well. Well, King is. Empire is definitely a morning person. Um, but, you know, for the most part, we are night owls and that's really helpful to know because then it helps me figure out okay you know this is the most productive time of the day for me and this is when I should put my heavier tasks because I'll have more energy more brain power and all the things the next thing to think about when it comes to building a routine as a mom as a business owner is do you have support and how are you articulating that you need some time so for me my only support system is through my husband and the grandparents um, we haven't found you know a babysitter or anything like that so it really is just my husband and the grandparents and so because of that I know the grandparent schedule I know when they are most available right and I say most available because I really for me I just try not to inconvenience
maintenance people. So I try to think about like their availability, but also making sure that obviously they're able to enjoy their days off. Now, of course, they don't mind having the grandkids. They, they would have them every day. Let's be honest. They would have the grandkids every day. But, you know, I just try to be mindful of what their schedules are. Maybe they have things that they want to do and things like that. So I try to be really mindful of that. And then, of course, whatever my husband's schedule is. But then I also... I have to think about, okay, how am I communicating and asking for the help that I need? So for me, something that has helped is that one day a week, Tay's dad will come over and he will watch King. He will take King outside. They'll, you know, have all the kind of fun, do all the things. And when he does that, I'm able to then, you know, maybe clean up around the house or put away laundry. I'm able to, sometimes I'm able to write a few emails, right? Like I'm able to just kind of do a few of the tasks that I'm not able to do when I have both boys together. I'm able to do that on, you know, maybe one day a week when dad comes over. But then the other thing that I had to do was I had to articulate that I needed time to work on my business. And so with my husband, we had a sit down conversation where basically I was like, hey, I need one day a week where I have like five hours, like a five hour stretch that I can just sit down and work. Um, because throughout the week, I really don't have the time, right? I don't have the capacity. And so um, we agreed that one day a week, I would, you know, have five hours. Like I have a whole five hour stretch. And I'm actually right now recording this during my five hour stretch. And that has been super helpful because we, again, we don't, the, the kids aren't like going to daycare or anything. They're not in school, um, you know, so mom, you know, I am home 24 seven with the kids. And so that can be really challenging trying to juggle, you know, having the kids home and trying to do business stuff. And for me, it's just really hard. Like King is at an age where he literally closes my laptop. He does not want me to work. So, you know, I don't, I don't really work with the kids like that anymore because I just, I really can't. So I had to be really, like I had to sit down and have a conversation with him about, okay, this is the time that I need. And so sometimes we have to just kind of look and see where, like, where do we need support? Who can help us? And how are we having those conversations about the help that we do need? I promise you that's super relevant to creating a routine. So the next thing you want to figure out is what are your goals and priorities when it comes to creating a routine? So once I got out of that postpartum fog, that like new baby fog, I realized I wanted a routine because I wanted a consistent schedule and something to look forward to. And what I mean by something to look forward to is I really do look forward to my one day a week where I have that stretch time to sit down and work um, for me I've always been excited by my work I always have enjoyed my work and so it's really nice to know that like hey this is my schedule this is my flow this is what I'm gonna have time this is what I'm doing next right I really I thrive off of that structure to my day and to my week and so that has been really helpful and that was one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to get back into some kind of routine and schedule for my life I also wanted to take back my health I wanted to deepen my faith get back into reading and again set some time to work on my business so that it could actually grow and thrive the way I want Wanted it to because prior to having the routine I was just sporadically working right like I was just whenever I, I get in where it fits in right and that was fine for that time for that season of my life when I was still in a fog when I still was trying to figure out what exactly was going on with my life now that I had one kid or when I added another right I was still trying to figure those things out so at that time it wasn't a huge deal but now I'm in a season where I'm ready to grow I'm ready to expand I'm ready to grow personally but also my business and so because of that I knew that I needed some kind of set routine and set structure around my days and around my weeks and I know for me I thrive off of like structure routine things like that and I also recognize that it might not look like somebody else's like I'm not going to be the person that's waking up at 5 a.m and doing all those things now I I do challenge myself sometimes to do those things right I challenge myself to wake up at 5 a.m or 6 a.m or so you know I challenge myself to do different things in different seasons of my life but I know for me routine like my routine is going to look different just like your routine is going to look different from mine and that's okay but I know that I needed something so that I could feel more supported in my life because I was after I got out of the kind of the postpartum fog, I started to feel like I was all over the place and it made me feel like I wasn't really getting things done. And that's why I was like, okay, I need to set a routine. And the reason why I need this is because I need to bring some kind of structure back into my life so I can make progress. So you want to consider what are your goals? What are your priorities? Why do you now want a routine or why are you now wanting to change your routine? What kind of things do you want to add into your routine? You want to think about those things. You want to think about your goals and what are your priorities when it comes to setting a new routine? So after you've set a goal, then you want to create a checklist of a bunch of different things that you want to do and add to your routine. So this may look like spending time with God, 
doing laundry, reading, spending time outside, your work hours, candlelit showers, getting fully dressed, making up the bed. These are just some of the things that I do, but you can literally write anything. I want you to write all the things that you can think of that you want to incorporate into the routine of your day. And I feel like I'm using the word routine and schedule kind of interchangeably because I'm, I'm talking about the whole day, but for me, my routines usually revolve around what's the morning routine and what's the night routine because a lot of things that happen in the middle of the day, like it's a toss up and we all know as moms, life is a toss up in the middle of the day, but we can have a morning routine and a night routine that kind of helps us figure out how we're starting and ending the day, right? So um, I'm kind of using interchangeably and you can kind of think about the things you do, you do through the course of the day, but I really want you to think really intentionally about how do you want to like start your days and how do you want to end your days? So from that checklist, you're going to create your routine, but you're gonna create it with variety in mind. So what I like to do is I like to tell people to set three routines. And this is what I've done. I said, I've set three different routines for my life. I have an A routine, a B routine, and a C routine. The A routine is my ideal day, right? How do I ideally want my day to go? What time do I want to wake up? You know, what kind of things do I do in the morning? What's happening in the afternoon? What's happening at night? Like what, in a, in a perfect world, this is how my day would go. That's the A routine. The B routine is like my normal routine. This is the non-negotiables. This is like the must do things every single day. It's also the day that I like set as these are the priorities that I have to do, but also I add a few extras in just in case there happens to be a little bit more time where I'm able to level myself some more or where I'm able to just do a few extra things that's what happens on my B day and then my C routine that's the C's get degrees okay that's that's the routine that it's like I'm doing the bare minimum today I am showing up I am here C you know for effort and that's it I realized in hindsight that my C routine was actually what I was doing when I was in that postpartum fog. I just didn't realize it. And so for each routine, I try to think of three to five things that I'm going to do in sequence consistently, right? So what are the three to five things that I'm going to do on my A day? What's the three to five things I'm going to do on my C get degrees day, right? Like what are those things? And that is how I format and create my routine. Like I said, up until recently, I've just been in the whole C's get degrees mode. Like I'm just like, listen, we're going to see routine this day because it is what it is like I I just cannot I cannot with today but I realized that like during that postpartum phase you do have days where it's like oh my gosh today is amazing and because of that I was able to craft and start thinking about what an A day would look like for me what an A routine would look like for me so one thing I'll say is that as you are going through life, be a patient observer, right? What kind of things really, really make you feel good? Um, you know, if you realize like, oh man, I had a really great day today, write down and think through what you did that day, because that may be an A day for you. Um, and this may be the ideal day that you want to have. And while every single day is not going to be an ideal day, at least you can be intentional when you wake up in the morning, you can say, okay, I'm feeling a day ish, right? Or you can wake up and say, I'm feeling like C's get degrees. And let's be honest, I feel like C's get degrees a lot of days. Like, I mean, and, and I was an A student in school, but I am, I'm all for C's get degrees. And so I have a lot of days, especially because my kids are so small, where it's a C's get degrees a day or it's a B day, right? It, it's okay to have a B day, right? Every day is not going to be the perfect ideal A day. And that is totally fine. Also, for me, a lot of times I base what the day is going to be like off of what time I wake up but something that's really interesting and something that I've noticed as I've built my routines is that sometimes I'm starting out with a C's get degrees day and then my evening ends up being an A right so your day can change and evolve and that's why you have three different routines because it gives you that flexibility over time to be like oh you know this morning might have started out a little rocky right might have sucked <laughs> a little bit but at least tonight you know we're able to like i was able to turn the day around right it just gives you an opportunity to kind of turn the day around if you needed to but also you may start out with an a day right an a morning and lose steam right you may get tired you may get exhausted or whatever and then you have a c evening there's nothing wrong with that right maybe you just need to lounge around and be lazy and that's fine right like that is totally fine too but it's your routine for me an a day looks like you know waking up and doing my bible study and quiet time in the morning right now i usually do my quiet time and bible time at night just because that is when i have the time tay is home he has the kids all the things um and i'm not a morning person right i don't enjoy waking up in the mornings and so because of that and also it's not even just because i don't like to wake up in the mornings the kids don't sleep that great at night right now so because of that i'm also super 
super tired in the morning so I don't want to wake up and so because of that a lot of times I'm not able to wake up in the morning and do my quiet time of Bible study but on my A days Bible study and quiet time actually is in the morning like I really do enjoy the days that I'm able to get up early and actually spend that time it's it's a great day for me and so that is my a day and my b and c day is when i do it in the evening and it's really, like it's totally fine an a day also looks like for me being able to work from 10 p.m to 1 a.m like i thrive and i'm most excited and most alert working at night so i love working at 10 p.m to 1 a.m i really love doing my calls like in the evening like i do like 8 p.m calls like i really really enjoy that that is an a day for me and then on sundays i love having like a block of time after church where I'm able to work and that is a, a day for me like I just really enjoy okay I went to church I did this and now I have this block of time where I'm able to actually work and dedicate to my business and while that is an a day there also are times where I have to work in the middle of the day or I have to wake up early and work and while those I wouldn't consider a days it's definitely like b day kind of material where it's like okay I had to wake up at eight to do a photo shoot and I try really hard to like push my photo shoots to like 10 o'clock but sometimes I have to wake up early and be because I love what I do because I love photography it's still a good day but it does throw off the routine right it does throw things off because I would prefer not to be up early in the morning so this kind of goes back to knowing what your style is like knowing what kind of person you are are you a morning person are you an afternoon are you a night person because if you are a morning person doing things at night doing the most important tasks working on your business and stuff at night may not be the best fit for you versus if you were able to wake up earlier and work on your business that may feel a lot better for you so the last thing I want to say is just to give yourself grace and be flexible so my days like my routines change so like they change so often I try to keep like my same staple things like wake up make the bed brush my teeth you know though like that routine it was just it usually stays the same but in terms of like what time am I able to work or you know when I'm able to spend my quiet time when do we go outside and have a walk when do I have time to go to Starbucks by myself like those different things those are going to evolve and change depending on what's going on in my life so like when the kids are going through leaps like Empire just went through a crazy leap where he was like doing like it was just a crazy leap where he was not sleeping well at all and so because of that my routine changed to accommodate what he was going through also there are some months where like Tay doesn't have to travel for work and so in those months my routine shifts a little bit to you know like it shifts a little bit in my favor because now he is home more hours for me to be able to you know do something in the morning or do something at night also i want to be really clear that a c routine is just as good as any of the other routines it doesn't mean that you're not being productive or getting things done it's just a routine that gives you more grace and just gives you a little bit of structure so you know what actually is happening in your life and so that you could have a little bit of a grip and control on it for me i had to realize that not being able to do every single thing like you know taking a bubble bath and all the things that you see all the it girls do like it was okay right I had to give myself that grace to say like it's okay if I don't do every single one of those things but when I do take my shower I'm gonna make it you know as romantic as possible right and so I romanticize my showers by doing candlelight showers like that's my thing so there's ways that you can structure even on your c days to still love on yourself and take care of yourself and still work on your business and do all the things without it being this overly dramatic process right and lastly and this is like my biggest thing that i have to remind myself is if the day doesn't go well we have tomorrow right sometimes i like i will find myself getting so hyped up on like today didn't go the way i planned or you know this didn't go the way i wanted or whatever like that and i have to remind myself like there's always tomorrow right god willing there's always tomorrow and so when i am able to shift my headspace to okay there's tomorrow i'm able to just like okay maybe today the rest of the day is going to be a c day and that's perfectly okay so that's it for this one let me know if you have a routine how your routines are going if this helped you in any way and until next time i'll talk to you later darling okay do this real quick now i'm gonna make this one aesthetic too All right.